Good afternoon. As you all know, this company has lost over a billion dollars from our films alone. So I am asking everyone in this room, does anyone have any good ideas for movies? Yes, you. Um, yes, I have an idea. How about a movie that revolves around an Arab family living in Austin, Texas? <laughs> you really think that we would make movies like that? We don't make movies based on realism. It's all about superheroes, space, fantasy. Well, I thought we would try something new, and I feel like this would relate to a lot of people. Well, if no one else has any other brighter ideas, I was thinking that we would do a live-action remake of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But why? That movie is perfect the way it is. Well, I just wanted to make some small changes, like adding representation. You know, like making both Quasimodo and Phoebus black. But doesn't that movie take place in 1482 France? You know, a time and place where everyone there was European white? That doesn't really make any sense. If you want a film to include representation, choose a setting and a time and place where representation makes sense. Anybody else? Yes. Well, I was just thinking that we would make a movie based on Norse folktale and let the film be traditionally animated to add a magical storybook feel. Y you know full and well that we don't do 2D animation anymore. We don't have the technology. What about the short film we made that premiered right before Wish? That movie used 2D animation for some of the classical and renaissance Disney characters. We clearly do have the tools to make traditional animation thanks to computer softwares. Okay, I have enough of this. Mr. Iger, we can't do the same shtick over and over again. Our fans don't like it, and they demand to see something new. But if we take any risk, with new ideas, we'll lose. We're losing money already for not doing anything fun and artistic. Other films are outperforming us because they know what people want. Oppenheimer was an amazing historical thriller that is able to be both cinematic, dreadful, and beautiful without altering history. Nimona was able to execute representation correctly without pandering, like the relationship between Ballister and Goldenline being casual instead of shoved into your face. The newest John Wick was a sequel, sure, but the film was a work of art. It had amazing cinematography, great action scenes, amazing acting, great writing, and amazing ending to the whole series. What? I'm trying to say is we should try to listen to what the fans want and maybe we should prioritize both art and money?